Hey, welcome to this week's Designer School lesson. This week we're talking about the Google Developer Tools. So the best way to show them is, well, just to use them. So we've got the Designer School homepage, as you probably recognize. And the best way to use the Google Developer Tools is, well, you need to be using Chrome, first of all. I think most people use Chrome these days, but if not, you should need to download it for this lesson. So you're on the website, and then you just right-click and use the Inspect Element button. Click it and up will pop the developer tools. So basically, what you have in front of you now is the DOM, which is the HTML. And um, as you can see, as I scroll over it, different sections will turn blue, which link to which section you are clicking over. So let's take the banner. You can click on this. And as you click on this, you'll see here you have some CSS. And obviously this CSS relates to what the HTML is linked to. So you can explore it more can dive down deeper and you can find out what's here. This is useful when something breaks and it's not what you expect it to be. For example, your header might not be working because you might not have closed the header tag or something like that, So, or something a bit more in depth, I'm not sure, but you will use this to dive down deeper and see what the issues will be. As I say, you've got the CSS here, which you can also edit on live. So if I was to change text align center to text align, left, you'll now notice it's moved to the left. This would be changed with a simple refresh. The internet's running slow, but there you go. Simple refresh and that's back in the center. So this is good as well if you want to do some quick editing on the fly, or the only issue is it doesn't save it, and we'll talk about that later, about how to then resave it back to your local host. But yep, that's all well and good. Also, what you can do is when you've got errors on the page, if you'll notice down here there's a number one. Hitting the escape key will bring up the error and it tells you that you have not got a JavaScript file here, which is what we wanted for the example. So 404 not found. This is the same when you try and add JavaScript or HTML files if they're not working or they're not found, it'll bring up an error and it will tell you. As you can see, another side note to that is at the top you've got resources. If you click on resources, it will show you all the resources on the page and if one's not there it'll have a little red sign next to it and that's another way indication to tell you it's not working. Another handy tool what the Google Developer Tools has is this and it's it shows you what's loading on the page and how it's loading. So for example what I'll do is I'll refresh the page, go back to developer tools and you'll notice here it shows us make this a bit bigger shows us what is loading and how long it's taken, the size and the timeline of what's loading and what order. This is great if you have a big website and you want to make your website run faster, it will show you first of all if anything's not loading, again as we already knew the example.js isn't loading, and it will also show you if someone's taking a particularly long time to load, so this in this case for HTML which is expected, and other things. Um, this is not a great example, but I'll load up another website here. We'll load up the BBC website. We'll right click, inspect elements. And we'll refresh it, go back. And as you see here, this is a better example. What is loading here, how it's loading. It shows you at the bottom the time it took to load. How many requests, 103 requests. So you can use this to your advantage if you just speed up your website, if you need to, something's not loading, if something's lagging, someone's breaking the website, which is a great way of doing that. So that's a quick overview of the Google Chrome tools. So example for recapping, we've got the network, which will show you what's loading, the size, so if you've got any large images, if they're taking a long time to load, and you can see everything about that. You've got resources, that will show you what you're linking, so in this case, a lot of images, and JavaScript, and stuff like that. But also the main thing you're using is the elements, it's the DOM. You can also navigate this by using your arrows. I'm just using the arrow key now. And you go up and down the DOM and you can then dive into, find out more about H4, then about that, you can click on that, and you can look at the style, you can click off styles. And it's great, a little debugging tool to find out why your website may not be working.